Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Blocks Concrete Generator, a SBSAR file now available at Polygon. I have already created a video um, in showing you how to use these, uh, be it by exporting the textures and bringing them into Blender, or by directly using a plugin within uh, Max Maya or Cinema 4D. Uh, there's an article on all of that, which I'll link in the description below. But now let's head over to Substance Player and take a look at this material. Okay, so I have the Blocks Concrete Generator loaded up into Substance Player. Let's take a look at what it can do. By default, the material is loaded in with a resolution of 512. We do that so the uh, controls here uh, are nice and responsive when you're adjusting your material. Uh, you want to raise that at the end when it, when it comes to exporting time. I'm actually going to raise it a little bit now because uh, on my particular machine I can get away with a 1024 resolution and it still performs relatively quickly, which is good. Okay, let's take a look at global parameters. This is where you would first of all choose the workflow. I'm going to leave mine on metallic roughness, but we have specular glossy as an option as well. Um, and then the first uh, options we have here are to do with scaling, so you can increase the X and Y amount of the bricks, like so. And I'm going to go for something like that. Um, and then you have the offset, which as you can see, uh, changes the, the staggering between the rows of bricks in the middle. It's quite, it's quite even, sort of staggering. And then on either of the extremes, it starts to get almost flat, almost in line with the brick below, like so. Quite a unique sort of control there, um, which will allow for a huge amount of variation in, in what you're doing. Uh, you also have a random control for that, which will kind of break it up um, along the y-axis there. You see these ones are kind of all in line where these aren't. Yeah, that's what that does. So let's lower that down. Um, and then you have a mortar width, which is the gap between the bricks. So if I raise that up, you get slightly thicker mortar. And if I bring it down there, well, if I bring it down too much, it does that. But <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, um, at about that level there, they're really close together. Let's leave that about uh, there though, and slightly increase the width. There we go. Okay. So next up we have the bricks. Um, this is where you would change, funnily enough, stuff to do with the bricks. Okay, so first let's take a look at surface. Now for this one I'm going to have to, it will slow things down a little bit, but I'm going to have to raise the resolution and zoom in a little bit here. Um, because all of these controls control the, ignore these like blotchy bits, we're just looking at the actual material, like the original material of the brick, and this is what this is adjusts. Um, but it is very subtle. <laughs> so this one um, controls like the intensity of the, the micro details, I suppose would be the best way to describe it. Uh, next we have surface sanding, which gives it a slightly different look. Looks like it's been kind of uh, sanded down uh, originally, like before the bricks were, were, were put in place. Um, then you have controls for the sort of larger details. I'm hoping this is coming through um, clearly, or it is very subtle. Um, and then you have the, the pitting controls, again, very, very subtle. This is the first one that's like really noticeable, um, at any resolution. <laughs> it's these big sort of splotchy bits, uh, and really changes the overall look of these bricks. Um, and you can control the, the distribution and scale of them there and whatnot. I'm going to leave those by uh, on their defaults for now though. Next we have the condition. Now this controls the damage around the edge of the bricks. So if I lower that down, you'll see it gets kind of a nicer, sort of flatter, almost newer look. Uh, and as I raise that, it's a little bit more weathered. Bear in mind, it does seem to have an impact on some of the other uh, features of the material, like it will change the coloring and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's fairly common with these sorts of materials. Next, we can choose the color of the brick and make adjustments uh, relating to color. And then we have the micro uh, surface, which allows us to control the roughness. So if I just get an angle where it's catching the light and then lower that down, you'll notice it starts to, oh, it gets very shiny. But yeah, that's where you can control that. Next, we have similar controls for the mortar, change the color and the roughness. I won't go into any more detail on that, no need. The finished one, however, is a little bit more noticeable. 
oh, here we go. <laughs> you can uh, paint the bricks. And then from there, you can adjust the color of it. So let's go for white. There we go. Um, you have uh, blistering, which I'll just zoom in a bit to see that clearly. You can just start to see the, the sort of blistering effect of the paint coming in there. It'll be more noticeable on the 4K render, but as I said, that's that's really slow to try and work with um, live. Um, you can adjust the roughness of the paint, and you can also adjust the coverage. So as you lower this down, it will kind of... Oh, it looks like the paint's been worn off or scratched away or, or whatever. But you can get some quite nice results with that. Um, and you can also turn on variation, so you can have splotches that aren't, <laughs> uh, that aren't getting the paint that much at all. And then kind of do that. For, uh, yeah, so very, very varied and different effects available with this one. It's really good. Uh, next, we have aging, uh, where you can control basically the overall kind of dirt. Uh, in the that first one seems to mostly affect the mortar, um, and then you can add in some cracks and whatnot. Um, and you have an overall controller for glossiness here if you wanted to do kind of a a wet look while still maintaining all the the bump detail in the background and whatnot is pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have dirt, um, which will allow you to enable top dirt and bottom dirt, like so. Uh, to save you having to add in the masks for uh, adding in dirt afterwards, you can just bake it straight into the map. Bear in mind, this will break vertical uh, tiling, though, uh, so you want to get the, the scaling of the brick right to, to suit your wall. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the controls for the Blocks Concrete Generator.